Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we have a look at the Toman top 5 interfaces and what they can do. We made a really nice selection that should have something for everyone, for musicians, for audio engineers, music producers and podcasters. So let's have a look. Here I have the PreSonus Audiobox Go. This is a USB-C audio interface. It's small sized and really lightweight, so it's easy to travel with and pack it in your backpack. This interface has a professional audio quality on 24 bits and 96 kilohertz conversion. The sound card has also 50 dB gain. The case is made of plastic, so here you can hear it, and it's very lightweight. I can hold this easily between two fingers. This is the mixer knob and this allows you to blend your input signals with the playback from your computer. On top you see a sticker, you can remove this, but you are able to right away register your product and also download the included software. It comes with Studio Prime, which is a door, and it comes also with Studio Magic, which is a software panel. So you right away can start recording. On the back you see two inputs. This one is a mic line level combo input. And this is an instrument input. Here you have two outputs. These are TRS balanced outputs for your speakers. And this is a USB-C connector. Let's test now how the preamp is working so that you are also able to hear it. I will do this with this microphone. This is a Shure SM7B. This is a microphone that needs a lot of gain. So I will use this for all the other interfaces as well. So the interface is now connected to my uh, computer. Also the microphone is connected. This, uh, you hear me now, to this interface. Here on the input, you see that it's already on the maximum level. The headphone output, I have it quite open. I can even give it a little bit more. I'm able to hear myself good. I don't hear any noise also, so I think that's actually pretty good for the audio box. This is a good audio interface when you start out or you need a little interface to travel with you for a small recording session. Here we have the Arturia Minifuse 2. This is a compact USB-C audio interface, which has two inputs and two outputs. It comes also with Ableton Live Lite, Arturia Analog Lab Intro, and you also get Arturia effects like a chorus, delay, vintage preamp, and a reverb. So you will get a complete production package to make music with this interface. It also comes in different colors. You can choose between black and white. The audio quality goes up to 192 kHz and 24 bits, and it has a loopback function as well. I find it very lightweight, and uh, the case is for metal, so it's really good. It has two combo mic line and instrument inputs. This one is for direct monitoring, so you can decide how much you hear from the playback and how much you hear from the recording. This is the backside of the Arturia, so with two outputs, TRS balanced for your speakers. You have a MIDI in and a MIDI out. You can lock it. And this is a USB R hub. And this is your USB C connection. I connected the microphone. So you hear my voice now through the Arturia. Yeah, it sounds actually really good and really clear. I don't hear any extra noise. So I think this is actually really, really good. You see also the blue gain LED light. So that's my incoming signal. And that means that the level is actually really healthy. So if it would be on red, then I would be too loud. And then you can push the gain back. Also the headphone output also has a lot. Yeah, I find this good. I could work with this one. <laughs> this is a Universal Audio Vault 276 USB-C audio interface with two inputs and two outputs. It has a vintage mic preamp mode, which you find here, and it is from a Universal Audio 610 2 preamp. It also has a 76 compressor that is inspired by the legendary 1176 compressor, and you can find this one here. This uh, vault comes also included with Ableton Knife Lite, Melodyne Essentials, Plugin Alliance plugins, and also way much more. It has a 24-bit 192 kilohertz audio conversion and you can do direct monitoring for latency-free recording. It also has 48 volt phantom power and the available gain is 55 dB. Here you see the volt from the front and uh, the casing is actually really beautiful. Also here with the side panels and, and the wooden look. I believe this is from metal, so it feels really sturdy and also good. So now we look here on the side and you see here two XLR TRS combo inputs. You also can switch instruments in here and when you use your guitar, you just push this button. So now we look at this side again and you see here the two gains for your inputs. 
These are the vintage preamps, so they color your sound and you can also use your compressors. You have a vocal setting, which is already fixed, a guitar setting and a fast setting. The fast setting is for really heavy compression and you can also turn it off. Here we have the backside with an on and off switch. You have also a viable DC power connection. When you already have a lot of USB power gear and you don't want to get more power from your computer, you are able to do this with a separate plug. That's actually really awesome. I connected this microphone uh, to the voice preamp, so you hear now my voice with the voice preamp. Now we're going to listen to the vintage preamp, so you will hear the difference. Now it's engaged and you can already hear the difference. So it makes it a little bit more open and it's a little bit more brighter. I have the feeling it, yeah, it sounds actually really good. This is without, this is without the preamp, this is without the preamp, this is with the preamp, this is with the preamp. Now we will listen with the compressor, how that sounds. This is now compression, this is now with vocal compression, this is now with vocal compression. This is now with vocal compression. Now you hear my voice with vocal compression. This is vocal compression. Now we're going to listen to my vocal without compression. This is without compression. My vocal sound without compression. This is my vocal sound with compression. This is with vocal compression and vintage preamp. I find this actually a really nice vocal sound. I can imagine that when you want to use this for your podcast or you want to sing, you right away can get a fantastic vocal sound. So uh, yeah, really, really, really nice. My first impression of all is really good. It's great that you can use an additional two preamp and a compressor to shape your sound and that it comes with so much fantastic software. Here we have the Roadcaster Pro 2 which is an integrated audio production studio and it's a great production solution for content creators and streamers, podcasters and musicians. I could do a whole hour of a tutorial about this one, but for now I give you a brief overview. So you will get nine assignable channels with six broadcast quality physical faders and three virtual faders. It has a high-performance quad-core audio engine and studio-grade AFX audio processing and onboard effects. There's also dual USB-C, so you can connect two computers or mobile devices. There's also advanced Bluetooth connectivity for high-quality phone call integration. You have the possibility for multi-tracking or stereo recording to a micro SD card, a USB storage device or your computer. It has a high-definition touchscreen and a rotary encoder for easy navigation and control. Now you see the roadcaster from above and uh, when I have it in my hands, it doesn't feel too heavy, but it also has a good weight. So here you see the record uh, button. So if you want to record, you can do this over here. These are the channel buttons. So I can go to different channels if I want to. So I can select it over here. Here are the faders. So they feel also really good. This is to listen and your mute. These are the gains for the headphone. This is the main gain. It's tapped, but it's also an encoder, so you can push it. And I can also use it for this pad to gain up or down. These are the smart pads that you can use for sound effects or to make a fade in and a fade out. And these are the bank switching buttons. Here are four high quality combo inputs for connecting microphones, instruments, and line level devices. And they have a high gain preamp with 76 dB gain. So my microphone is now connected to the roadcaster. You can make a selection of which microphone you use. This is over here. There are different ones, but I select my SM7B. So I think it sounds also really good. I can hear myself really well. You have presets. This is neutral. So now you hear my voice in a neutral preset. Podcast studio preset. And here we have a broadcast preset. So let's go back. So now we can listen to some effects. So I click here and then we can go to the reverb effect. So here, yeah. now you hear my voice with a reverb. I can make it also longer, very long haul. So now you hear the reverb like this. And I can go back here and here's also an echo or delay. I can engage it, so you so hear this, this one, 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 which is which also is really, really cool. cool. 
there are also more advanced effects that you can use, like a DS or filters or equalizers or compressors. And uh, yeah, that's great that they are all available for you. Well, I think you really have a lot of possibilities with this interface and it has everything inside to get your show or recording started. You quickly can set up for recording and I think this is an all-in-one solution for content creators, podcasters and musicians who want to connect and record easily wherever they are. Here we have the Audient ID44 Mark II audio interface with 20 in and 24 outputs. It has four mic preamp inputs that go from 0 to 60 dB gain and it has also a preamp design from the legendary ASP8024 Heritage Edition console. It includes a free software bundle with creative software, 12 volt DC power adapter and a USB-C cable. You see the audio now from above and uh, the weight is actually really good. It's not too heavy. Uh, that are the gain knobs for your inputs. And over here you see the 48 volt phantom power. You have also a switch that you can go minus 10 dB for if you need it, if some level is really loud from your microphones and you can also low cut it. Here are the headphone gain knobs. Over here you find the step gain knob and you also can click it to go into different functionalities. These are three programmable function buttons. For instance, if you want to switch to different speakers. This is the ID button to activate scroll control so you can use the main volume knob as a controller on different parameters for compatible plugins or for writing automation. Here you can find your instrument inputs. You have a dual headphone output and here on one you also have a mini jack. Here you find the combination inputs for microphone and line level. Here you see two insert points so you can connect external effects if you want. It has two returns and you can use the returns also to get direct access to the ID44 converters when you want to bypass the built-in preamps for when you want to use a different preamp in your studio. Here you see four line outputs for multiple sets of speakers or to route it to external gear if you want to. It also has two ADAT in and outs. The Audient also has a loopback function and an ID mixer app which will be shown in your system tray from your computer and you are then able to make different routing setups. Now you hear my voice with the preamp and I think it sounds awesome. So it sounds very clean, natural and also really open. Yeah, I think this is really great. I think this is a great interface for people who need more possibilities in the studio for recording or mixing music without using a big desk. You are able to integrate external gear or you can make use of the controller function for your automation. And I think it's also a great interface for when you need to record live on location because you easily can pack it in your bag together with extra preamps and your computer and you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed my top 5 overview and that you maybe found something for yourself. Let me know what you think and which one made you curious. I look forward to hearing from you in the comment section and I see you next time. <laughs>